Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru back with a formula called making charts. It's not a formula rather it's a feature of Excel which allows you to create wonderful charts which uh, which, give, which give exact and beautiful beautiful graphical de uh, description to your data. So I'll be covering the charts today. The chart I would be covering would be column and then later on in the next part I would be covering line charts in the next one I'll be covering pie then the bar then the area charts and the scatter charts uh, I'll be I'll taking this session comprehensively because this is a beautiful thing to have all right let me just remove certain formatting over here I've done some formatting over here let me just go ahead and remove this formatting for you while I do so let me just tell you that charts allow you to present your data in a very graphical manner uh, we'll see see uh, the, these are the name of the months, say months are uh, January to December. Targets are for the units uh, for the products called LCD. 100 units were supposed to be sold in every month. And this is the achieved target. Now, if we want to showcase this in a form of a graph, so how would we do it? It's so very simple, so very simple. What, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to make the charts uh, by first of all selecting the home tab then going to insert and from insert we need to choose what kind of graph do we need to insert these are the two dimensional graphs these are the 3d graphs the basic difference is between the kind of highlights or the kind of graphical descriptions these are able to give in so I'll choose the most simplest one first the clustered column what did it say compare compare values across categories by using vertical rectangles use it when the order of the categories is not important or for displaying item counts such as histograms it's not this is very complicated just by what it read but when it comes to graphics it's awesome once we click it see automatically this area opens up this is where the chart has to be fit in now what we need to do is we need to select the data for this chart which we can do by going over here and select clicking on select data this window open up, opens up which shows us which data do we need to select you see this highlighted cursor we can move it using our cursor keys and we select the complete data where has it gone my god excel is playing tricks okay here it is so I select the data you see how this range automatically shows up so I press on ok and voila as you have your ties your uh, your chart over here so simple as that so see these blue lines represent the target as shows on over here and these red lines shows the achieved as shown over here and this, these are the name of the months and these are the lines are uh, the target lines or the uh, of what do you call it a series of, of values so this is the X series this is the Y series and isn't it so simple now we can do a lot with it what all we can do by once we make a basic chart then we click on it and we go to design see over here now by choosing design this opens up and we can give it a design say I want to give it this design so I click over here and it gets a wonderful design over here see hasn't it gone beautiful it's moved into more of a 3d shape and once I've done that I go to format uh, this is a bit difficult uh, once I do that what I can do is I can go to chart layout see what does it show over here it shows that if I choose this this is layout one let's try all of these this is layout one uh, over here it comes a chart title wherein you can mention your own chart name I can say LCD I can just delete it and write LCD sales alright see this is I have customized it I go to I click on the chart again and again this thing opens up and this is another option layout too I click over here and this layout gives me the values of these bars over here see 
the bar for every January target month or February target month is mentioned over here and the value achieved over here is mentioned isn't it cool then I go to the other layout see layout 3 herein the values are not mentioned I go to layout 4 herein the chart title has gone the series mentioner is legends are moved down and I then go out to layout 4 <coughs> this will also represent the data below so this can also be used many a time this is used then I go to layout 5 which gives me targets and targets achieved 74 okay, just for the last month and then I can move to this one layout 7 which is much more simpler much more lean and then I go to layout 8 herein the bars are vertical bars are more pronounced they are more thicker and I'll teach you more tricks also in this let me just cover this layout 9 again as much more simpler again herein the chart values of a specific legend are mentioned of a specific a specific series are mentioned only the achieved targets values are mentioned you see 90 59 75 isn't it good to look at your data in a very very simple manner and then I choose layout number 10 11 uh, sorry 11 herein it's so very simple now say if this is our level chart and I need to insert some more so first of all you need to play with the chart you need to click on the chart and then go to format now once you go to format uh, what can be done is say I'll, I'll move to simpler things first layout see why it comes this is trend line a very good thing it will tell you what kind of trend is coming over across if I click on trend line I use a linear trend line and I want it on achieved on which value do I want to give the linear trend line it will give on the value on the targets achieved see this shows that across the year the volumes have grown the business has grown though there were a few months where the target was low however overall the business grew now, this is what a trend line can do and then comes grid lines what does grid line do grid lines actually remove these background lines you see they remove the vertical I want none so see those lines have gone I go to horizontal sorry vertical again none they have gone then I go to axis I can remove them show axis on the left show axis without labeling see the labels have gone but if I want access none no nothing has come it's good to have the axis so that you can go ahead and check the data click over here again comes the layout and then comes the data tables do I want to data shape table uh, below see if I click over here yes here comes the data table uh, you can add or remove it by clicking on none you want data labels this is a good thing where do you want to see the data labels it gives a graphical representation you want them in the center at the outside end at the inside end or uh, at the outside end again so if I want them in the center I click over here see all the data labels are inside if I want them on the outside end they move to the outside end legends show legends legends are these things I want to say turn them off legends have gone I want to turn them on here they come I want to take the legends on top they are gone on top I want to take the legends on the left I click the legends have gone on the left legends at bottom and well, legends are at bottom wonderful thing overlay legends to the right say the legends have overlaid this is not very cool and overlay legends at the left again the best are legends on the right but this shortens down your chart you can simply click over here 
and press on delete and they will delete i just press delete the legends are gone i do a control z they are back so this is how we work on legends and these are the axis labels do i want to show the axis labels axis labels below this is a chart title so this was your excel guru today with your formula with the, with the feature chart columns this sheet is available for free download at my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com you can download it from there if you like it do share us on twitter do share do like us on facebook and on twitter so this was your excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy excel learning